What's up, Big Town? Welcome back to the day. I got a really, 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 really special one for you today. We have Baker Street Daily. This is one of the places on campus that I hear people talk about the most. Um, every time I come back, it's always packed. And I'm really excited to see what happens today. Because I've heard that there's great, great, great food here. And you better customer service. All right, so I'm with Megan Meyer, the owner, and then Lori Lindenberg, one of the managers. They're gonna be my menu guys today. Um, so, off rip, I already, I got the MacGyver. That was the most famous. And then the fish wish. Was that the, is that the other thing that I got? The, mo the most mania is the least popular. They both are and down then, there in the lowest category, but number-wise, the most mania is orders last. And then we got uh, Megan's favorite as well, which yep. is the the Popeye's pleasure. Yeah. So uh, can you just go ahead and tell? Me. Can you tell me what we got with the MacGyver? Yeah, sure. The MacGyver, um, kind of got created out of the love of the morning sandwich, mm -hmm. but then adding kind of it's kind of a mashup maybe of like the Tom's turkey and the morning after uh -huh. because it's a mix avocado. of and then you add avocado, so it's got the egg slices. Avocado. The bacon, choice of cheese, and then avocado, and then you get your lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. No, no question that that's popular because that's a lot of good. That's a lot of good things to put on the bagel for mm -hmm, sure. Mm -hmm. All right, so what about the the least the least likely that we got? I don't know why. I mean, I'm not a meat eater, but you could speak to our roast beef. I'm not a roast beef, roast beef eater, but it's local and it's really popular. It's mm -hmm. really like that. yeah, I'm a fan of quality of meat. I think it's one of our yeah. highest quality. I'm definitely of meat. a fan of roast and beef. And it's just too. the classic roast beef and cream cheese. All mm -hmm. Like heated up and seemed to perfection. Okay, it and seemed like a bad one, but it is ordered the least. That it, yeah, I'm surprised because that's not bad either. Like it's definitely not as good as the McGyver because I I know that's probably gonna be really good, but uh. But yeah, so what about the veggie option or your favorite? We have a lot of veggie options and I am a vegetarian, but mm -hmm. I always kind of go back to our homemade spinach cream cheese. Mm -hmm. It is delicious. So I really enjoy that with the, the tomato party. mix. Yeah, and then I like the, I'm a big black pepper fan, so yeah, adding like she, some seasoning to it, it's delicious. And like she mentioned, it's like, it's veggie, veggie options and then you got gluten free. So you can come here and get practically anything. Uh, if you don't eat meat, you can come here and eat. If you try to stay away from gluten, also good as well. So uh, our food is already here. Uh, thank y'all for coming in and explaining the menu, be my menu guy for today. Uh, we're gonna take you over and eat. Alright, we got the most. Oh, yeah, just simple. Roast beef and cream cheese. That's not a bad one at all. That's not a, not a bad combination. And we obviously got everything on everything baby is Like, there is no better baby than everything baby. Um, 
The meat is really good. The cream cheese is also really good. I can't see why this isn't worth that much though. Because it's just like, I don't know, it is really weird. It is a very weird combination, I guess. I don't know. But, um, man. It's not bad. It's not bad. But it definitely is a weird combination for sure. Um, the roast beef is pretty good though. Like this. It's odd. It's odd. It's definitely odd. Alright, come on, Don. So we got the, the man behind the camera, Don, here to try the veggie, the veggie option that I ordered. Um, we got Popeye's Pleasure. Popeye's Pleasure. It's Megan's favorite. She's vegetarian, I'm vegetarian, so. Yep, let's dig in. Mm. Wait, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. The spinach cream cheese was yeah. really, really good. This is better than, this is my favorite. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So what did you think of the roast beef one? Because you said it was weird. <laughs> and I've never heard of it roast beef like, and cream no, cheese. Yeah. No, this is definitely a weird combination. Yeah, yeah. I can see how some, some people may like it, but like, I will say, um, roast beef sandwiches remind me of my days at Subway. Mm. I worked at there for a few months, and I would always make this. I would make the most disgusting sandwiches, but you would just like pile as much meat on there as possible, just so you get like your free sandwich worth. Yeah, it's definitely like a like the cream cheese mixed with the roast beef. It is like. <laughs> It's like a mush as soon as it hit my mouth. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm just not mad. Yeah. I've had a, a few bagels from here. This is the best one by far. Like, I don't think it's close. No, yeah, the bagels, the um, the Popeye's Pleasure, this is definitely the, the best one out of mm -hmm. all three. Like, I'm not even, like, I'm serious. The, um, and I'll say the, the like, actual bagels themselves are really good. Mm -hmm. Like, they feel like they're really good quality. So yeah, as a vegetarian, I would say they did us right. As a non-vegetarian, they did us right. <laughs> like if I do come back here, you're gonna this one. Pleasure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The McGuire, the McGuire was like, it's really good, but that's like classic. This is, more, this is more like simple and just like, it's, it don't, it's just, it's perfect. It's really perfect yeah, sure. yeah. And it all really goes well together, I think. Um, yeah. It is nice, I will say, living in Athens, where we have a lot of places that pander to vegetarians, so... I don't know. I haven't had something... Maybe that is really just this good. We had the most popular, the least popular, and the pick from the owner. Yes. What are you giving these out of 10? Ooh. Oh, you know what? That's a good one, because, like... I'm gonna rate the sandwiches separately than the whole game of street. Starting with this one, the least favorite, I'm not gonna lie, this was a six. It was a six, it wasn't bad, but it was just kind of light. <laughs> would you order it again? No, definitely would not order this again. I would get the McGeiger again. The McGeiger wasn't bad at all. I mean, it was just a regular morning, you know. They had the lettuce, tomato, cheese, uh, egg. That was a, that's a really good, really good, uh, morning option but we can't forget about the bacon so I, but I'll definitely give it a seven for sure like it was pretty solid for the owner's favorite definitely eight because um like it just wasn't it, it wasn't too too much but it was really flavorful and simple no meat as well so I mean you know that's vegetarian option so definitely coming from non-vegetarian that's choosing a vegetarian option over everything else this is definitely um, catered to all, so. Yeah, I'll, I'll give the, the Popeye's Pleasure a nine. That was really good. I mean, you can't go, you can't go too overboard with these uh, bagel sandwiches, but I mean, I've had this place before, I've enjoyed it, but this this bagel right here took it to a whole nother level for me. No, yeah, big time. So, yeah, I give it a nine. I, I really recommend this. Um, 
Did you want to rate the, the restaurant as a whole? Yeah, definitely the restaurant as a whole. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say a solid eight. A solid eight for sure. The thing I will say about this is it's become a big part of the community with Pickle Fest. Oh yeah. Everyone, when, I, when you talk about food around here, always loves to mention Bagel Street. Um, and I never really got it too much, but I, yeah, I think yeah, I'm yeah. starting to, to figure it out, so. I think there's a lot going on here, and I think it's a really cool place to check out. So. No, yeah. If you ever in Athens, if you ever are on Court Street, definitely, definitely come to Bagel Street Deli. I had a real good experience today at Bagel Street. Uh, the customer service was amazing. Megan and Lori, they were great. Bagels were so good. I definitely be here a lot, a lot more often. It's a really good only whole food. Um, Thank you for tuning in. That's the show.